Hello everyone, my name is Aviv Shah, Technology Specialist, Network and Security Engineer at Terrasky. Today I'm going to show you a demo on how to configure NSXT DFW based on Identity Firewall. So let's start by configure all the settings on the NSXT sites. First thing, to configure the LDAP server. So let's press on the System tab, going to User and Role, LDAP. I have already set it up, but let's go over the settings. This is the LDAP server that I added. The name is TSLab, terrasky.local. I chose Active Directory over LDAP, and you need to configure the base DN. After that, you need to add the LDAP server settings. You need to add the host name, the protocol, and the port. After you finish with that, you need to check the connection. If everything is okay, save the configuration and check the status again. After that, we need to configure the identity firewall AD. So I move to LDAP server and add the host name, the protocol, the port, the user, and the password. We need to save it and test the connection. After the connection is, suc is successfully, I go, I go to the, uh, our AD in our lab and I created a new group that's called Aviv Test. In that group, I added my user. So now you need to go and add and to see if the uh, LDAP and the NSX is synchronized and I need to search my uh, group in the Active Directory. So I choose the um, LDAP name and I write the group. And here is the group. I chose Enterprise Admin and save the configuration. So now I add my user to the NS60, the group that I created from the our AD. So now I need to move to the security section, go to a distributed firewall <clears throat> and make sure that uh, all the configuration for the identity firewall is configured, uh, configured right. So here in the action, you need to press on general settings and to make sure that distributed service status and identity firewall status is enabled. And you need to uh, enable on the cluster that you want to enable the identity firewall. So I choose the lab V2. It's our cluster that I want to enable that feature. So let's go to the user, to my jump server. I will connect to that. And to enable the identity firewall on the client, you need to make sure that everything is configured and all the driver that it's in the prerequisites is enabled. So I will check it now. I go to uninstall program and change VM VMware tools. You need to do that with the administrate with, with, with the administrator uh, user. Modify. And you should check that the service discover the NSX file introspection driver and then NSX network introspection driver is enabled. If it will not enable, that feature is not go to uh, enable in all in, in the specific client. So you need to enable that to enable that and after that uh, next to press next 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 and change i don't want to change in my uh, jump server 
So now I will go, oh, I will go to the uh, security section and I created a DFW rule with Aviv AD test, a new section and one rule that block ICMP all. So in the source, I create a new group that call Aviv server. This is my jump server in our lab. And we press on edit. And here I add my group that I added in the Active Directory. So my user is located in that group. And the destination, I put our uh, uh, Active Directory and uh, ICMP all. So let's connect to the jump server and try the test. Okay, so you can see the ping is work and everything is uh, successful. And now I want to connect to the NSXT and change the allow to drop and to check if the ping is blocked. Ah, this is a good example. I forget to uh, switch the user to my um, Aviv uh, account. So I will disconnect and connect with my uh, user. Let's go back to the N6 and we change to drop, publish. And I check and see that the ping is drop. So you can see that the identity firewall based on the um, DFW it's work and you can use it in, in all the organization and yeah, choose that feature. Thanks everyone.